normally like to start the new year with a bang, you know, getting all the things done, being really productive, but I feel like this year it barely started with a buh. <laughs> but we are now 10 days in and I finally feel like I am starting to ramp up. So I wanted to share what I've been doing to get myself into that stage, what I've been doing to get out of that blah phase into the uh, yay <laughs> phase. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and the first thing I want to talk about is probably going to sound very counterintuitive, but stick with me, but that is to prioritize rest. This has had the biggest impact on me feeling like I can, I finally have the energy to do something again. As I was rereading over old journal entries from last year, I realized how many of them talked about how tired I was. And this year, you know, a few weeks ago, we got a puppy, so our sleep schedules have been not great. <laughs> but now, because my daughter's back in school, because I work for myself, I am taking naps during the day. I'm having a lie in and I'm just prioritizing resting and recharging and rejuvenating. And that has had a huge impact on my ability and my enthusiasm, my energy levels for actually doing things again. Another thing then, and I've already alluded to this, but that is rereading old journal entries, not just to kind of learn the lessons from last year, but also so that you can see how much you achieved last year. Sometimes I feel when we're facing into a new year, it can feel very overwhelming when we think about all the things that we want to do, all the goals we have for ourselves. And certainly if you're like me, you may put pressure on yourself, consciously or subconsciously, to be perfect and to make this the perfect year. And that can really leave you feeling paralyzed and leave you feeling stuck because that's terrifying, <laughs> you know, like having those expectations for yourself. But rereading over old journal entries from the previous year, or if you don't keep a journal, first of all, start, it's great. <laughs> but just looking back at photographs, rereading old text messages, things like that, so you can see how much you actually achieved last year it's really easy to look back over a year and think that you didn't get much done, nothing of significance, but when you see it in black and white, when you see it written down, when you see the photographs, it's very easy then to think, hey, I can actually achieve things and I can get a lot done. Look how much I got done last year. So that can be a big boost. So I would really, really recommend doing that. Looking back over journal entries, photographs, video clips, things like that. And like I said, if you don't keep a journal, I would highly encourage you to start. Another thing you can do then is, you know, if you have lots of goals, focus on just one, pick one that you're going to do. Again, to alleviate that overwhelm that you might be feeling. Or if you have one big goal, so you know that you're not going to be able to achieve that, you know, in the coming weeks or anything, really break it down. This is what I have done this year instead of setting year-long resolutions, I'm setting monthly goals because the year is just, the deadline is too far away. I work best to a deadline. So I have broken my goals down into monthly goals. And even with those, I have broken those down further. So when I'm looking at my list of things that I want to achieve, it feels much more manageable. And that gives me that extra motivation to know that, hey, I can actually start this and I can achieve this, you know, in the next week, in the next month or whatever. And it just gets me over that stumbling block, you know, at the start where I feel like I'm taking on too much, I'll never get this done. Break it way down or just pick one small goal that you're going to focus on. As well as that then, try and learn something new. If you've been following me for the past week or so, you will probably know that I have been learning to play the harp and I found it so rejuvenating. It's been really good for my soul. So if you're looking to learn something new, if you're looking to explore your creativity, then Skillshare, who is sponsoring this section of the video, is a great place to do that. If you're interested, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership. What you can do is just hop on there, explore some classes, maybe search something that 
you know, you've always been interested in, something you've always wanted to learn, or scroll through the staff picks and see if anything just sparks your curiosity. But one thing I will say is try not to learn something that is related to work really do something that is just for you because that's where the fun is. I really wanted to learn how to use Procreate, which is essentially a digital illustration app. And in my head, I was thinking, you know, this will be really great for work. I'll be able to design things for the site, for my YouTube videos, etc. But at the end of the day, I realized, no, I have to do this just for me. It can't be about work. It has to be something that's just for fun. Otherwise, it's going to feel like a chore. So really focus on the fun aspect, on learning something that you've always wanted to learn, even if you don't stick with it forever, you know, even if it doesn't turn into this big, incredible thing, even if I never play in an orchestra. <laughs> it's just something that is exciting for your brain. The reason I suggest this, the reason I say to do something new is because when you are doing the same things over and over again, it's easy to feel stuck in a rut, but when you do something new, it gets you out of that, and that can really help to kickstart your new year. Again, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership, so you have nothing to lose. Hop on in there and seek out something that speaks to your creative soul. Also make sure that you are doing something fun, even if it's not something new, still make sure that you are incorporating a lot of fun into your day, whatever fun means for you. Another great thing is just getting out in nature, letting the fresh air blow away the cobwebs, rejuvenate you, refresh you, get some movement in, some exercise. And yeah, just blow those cobwebs away, feel better, breathe deep, and really enjoy the weather, even if it's as cold as it is here today. Bundle up, you'll be fine. Try to, to get in a quick win, like a walk outside, like that, you know, breaking down your goal into one step and just getting that done. It really makes a big difference to your sense of achievement, your motivation levels. It builds up that momentum that you need to really get you moving forward in the new year. One quick win that you could get in is doing something, you know, changing something up. So maybe you move a piece of furniture around, you turn your bed the other way, you rearrange the furniture in your living room. Maybe you just cook something new. But again, it's about getting yourself out of that rut, getting your brain to sit up and take notice and say, hey, something new is going on here. Time to roll with the times. It's time to, you know, get up and get moving again and figure out, you know, what I can do. What are all these new changes, these new exciting possibilities and opportunities that I could take advantage of? Something that never ceases to inspire me, motivate me, really get me thinking about my goals and wanting to achieve all of them is speaking to a supportive, encouraging friend. Someone who is there to listen, someone who is there to um, empower you, I guess. Someone you can bounce ideas off, be a soundboard for, um, even if they're sharing their ideas, maybe their struggles. I always walk away from those conversations feeling like, yes, I can do this. Um, I have someone in my corner, someone who is rooting for me, someone who wants me to do well. That always gets me up and going again. And then create a bank of inspiration. So list those supportive friends, write down any motiv motivational, <laughs> motivational quotes, um, images, save images that really speak to you or, you know, reflect what you want to achieve, the person you want to be, the places you want to go, the things you want to do. I've had a breath because <laughs> I just walked up a steep hill. Um, videos, say videos that inspire you. Um, lots of different things like that, like anywhere you draw inspiration from. Maybe it's an upbeat song that always gets you moving, dancing, cleaning, all those types of things. Save those create a little inspiration bank for yourself that you can then look back on and utilize when you need it. And that is how you jumpstart your year. I have loads more motivational videos for you in the end card, but let me know, how is your new year starting? Is it off to a good start? Is it off to a slow start? 
let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Slán!